Welcome back. Hello. Couples cocktails, January, what is today? 20? Today, Today's cool. It's 1 21 21. What do they call those things? Uh, something with a P. Proliferable. Yeah, I Can saw you spell some, that? No, blah, blah, blah. no, I cannot. But it's it I, It was cool. I sat down this one, morning. 1 21 21. I wrote down the date 1 21 21, and I thought that was cool. So tomorrow will be 1 22 21. 2 2 2 1. 1 2 2 2 1. Yeah, but that sounds cool. I know, but all ones and twos. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it is yeah. cool. Great. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. And also, before I forget, last week we had I don't know seven hundred views plus or minus. So people are watching it probably after we're on. So thank you for staying in. Either you're, either you like what we're saying, or you're particularly bored, so you hang in for a while. <laughs> One of the two. Might be that pandemic maybe, looking may, for entertainment. Maybe both. I yeah. don't know. So let's start as we always do. Hi, Desiree. Desiree. Always do. Hey, Desiree, how are we doing? Um, so, Desiree, you're going to wait. We're going to want you to weigh in tonight since you're our first one on that we can see, and we'll let you know when so you can pop in. But at first, yep. let's uh, let's go through what our cocktails are tonight. Yeah. Okay. And you so first. I have this uh, bottle of wine. It's uh, bread and butter. Uh, it's a Cabernet, and it's from Napa Valley, California. Napa Valley, California. And uh, this is the first time I've had it. I don't know. I like the label, so that's why I bought it. Um, is it a so cork so or one of screw tops? Uh, it was an actual cork. Whoa, cork. Fancy. Awesome. Fancy. Awesome. Well, I have a, uh, again, which just appears to have become my winter beer, Stella. And tonight I'm drinking what's a fun, very nice little bottle. Probably a lot of people haven't had it yet. But you know Old Forester if you're a bourbon drinker. And this is the Old Forester Statesman. Very, very nice. I like it in with a cube. I okay, like with a cube. cube. Okay, so so tonight's chat, right? Yes. Now I'm borrowing, you, you talked about it. Yeah. want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm borrowing a little bit from William Shakespeare. You know how I like to give titles yes. to things, yes. right? So this is to speak or not to speak. That is, is the question. question. All right, so we're, uh, now I know you don't like to prepare for stuff, so just yep. follow my lead here okay. for a second. Okay, right. so the first question I have for you before we get into details. Yeah is what what made you come up with this idea and what so, is it exactly yeah Don't so let's talk about the details good way to get to those yeah hi cam <laughs> and kenny they're on um my mom's on too um so what gave me this idea is i've had several clients this week that have been in tough kind of situations with their partners or one of them is actually with their child about to say something or not to say anything and a couple of one one couple well, one person was noticing that their spouse had gained some weight. And we're not going to talk about the exact issues. Oh, okay. I just want to know what, because I'm going to come to them. This yeah. is where so, the, my organization comes in. Okay. So, so, to be so organized, some clients organized. have had issues with whether they should say something or not. That's how I sort of came okay. up with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's, uh, now, now let's, let's, let's break it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so it came up during the course of yep. your, your work with people yep. this week. And it does toggle back, right, mm -hmm. to to a chapter of our book, which, yeah. which follows a little bit one of my favorite sayings, yes. which I believe is a rule of thumb for any successful relationship, and that is, if what you're going to say doesn't matter, don't say it. So right. that's, that's my general yeah. rule. Yeah. But so let's, let's drill down to um, where you think people have an issue, setting my rule aside, of course, yeah. people have an issue uh, as to whether they should talk with their partner yeah. about something or whether they shouldn't. Well, you know, I don't really have a clear, clear cut answer here. So there are situations where I think, like especially weight, it, yeah. it's something that's something that it's really hard to talk to somebody about. And if you say something to them, they probably already know it. Like if I said to you, like, "Hey, you know, you look like you put on a few pounds," you know that. You, I mean, first of all, your clothes are tight. You might have a scale that you go on, and most people know when they've gained weight. And telling somebody that they've gained weight usually isn't very helpful. Well, I suppose that from the person who's observing, you want to help that person. Yes. Right? No, you feel like the need, um, like you should but, say but something. But let's be honest. What's the knee-jerk reaction to that? To get pissed. To get pissed. Yeah. Go, you know, yeah. Go, go yeah. Yourself, and and that, that, yeah. Go screw yourself. Right? Yeah, right. and then so, go eat some cupcakes. So that gets back to my rule. If what you're going to say yep. isn't going to matter... Or in this particular case, it's going to matter worse. Or maybe, maybe it's a motivator. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe like, oh my God, they noticed that I gained a couple pounds. It must be worse than I thought. Maybe I should step on the scale and see what's going on here. Or, you know, it, so it could help. 
So, you know, that it's, it's not clear cut. And that's the thing is, you know, I talk to people about like, okay, if you do say something, what do you think it's, you know, what are, what do you think is going to happen and what your, what's the next step? So, um, but some things I do think okay. you have to well, say well, something move, about. I'm going to talk about some other topics yeah. soon, but before we move off of, uh, off what of do you weight, guys think? Off of weight, Your Desiree says the, the partner should encourage healthy behavior. Go for a walk or hike while being healthy and doing something productive. I'm I'm cool with that. Yep. But, but let me just tell everybody. So this was what two weeks ago we had been we had um, uh, not been watching what we were eating or drinking for a ten yeah. day period. Yeah, we had a bad. I put on some I put on some weight, mm -hmm. and we were down. We we have a little gym in the house, and we're down working out. And I was getting tired, and she says, get cracking or get moving, fatty, or something like tubby, that. Tubby, I think I called tubby, you tubby. Tubby, call me tubby, yeah, yeah. call me tubby, which, which irritated me in the moment. <laughs> but, but motivated you. But it. two weeks later, I lost the weight that I had put on. Yeah. That time. It, took me, it took me longer to take it off than it did to put it on. Yeah, it's easy to put on. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. so, so I, did, I turned that into a motivator. But it could, in a different circumstance, or had you said it in a way... That was not in, uh, in a funny yeah. way or laughing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it could have, you know, well, hurt somebody's feelings. Also, That's you something. you had told me that you gained weight. I didn't tell yeah, you that yeah. you gained weight. And then when you were not doing the um, ab exercise, you said you were tired. You know, like you were doing it, you were getting tired. I just thought that I could. It was it was appropriate for me to make a joke about it. Washboard now. Wash oh, washboard. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think I would have said that if you had not brought it to my attention. Like, hey, I gained a couple pounds, and now I'm going to try to take it off. You know, I don't. I don't think I would have you said that. Just too. come out of the blue and Is say, no, "Get tubby. moving, tubby." No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. All right, so let's talk about some other places. Yeah. All right, all right, where where Pete, where it's hard to know yeah. whether someone should say something to their partner. Or not. Yeah. How about money? Well, you know that. So spending, yeah. So okay. that's an interesting thing. That. So you know the spending in some ways I think affects the relationship in a different way. You know, can affect sort of both of you like your weight is kind of like your domain your business but like the finances are shared and really that might be an area that I would I would be more likely to say like you have a right to comment and and to work on that well what do you think well I don't disagree about the money or, right or, but but I'm not sure that the weight is my business I guess that's one way to look at it yeah but, and this could be this is probably a topic for another discussion we've talked about before is that most of us want to be attractive to our partner so if we yeah. if our partner thinks we're not attractive be it weight whatever it might be a bad mole or something like that yeah probably want to change it somehow right so that is more of a us than a oh, me. Okay. but i understand what you're saying but, but and certainly on the money front um you know uh, you go to charge something on your credit card and you hit your limit or or you look in the bank account and there's there's something not there so right. all right so Let's just say hypothetically, and this is quite a hypothetical. Oh yeah, I, I feel. You know, let's just say somebody that went to there's someone who someone who um, has lots of Amazon boxes outside of their house uh, every day. Mm, boxes mm. so much that we could build a whole another house mm. just with the cardboard. Let's just let's just hypothetically say yeah. that 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 happens. Yes. Should you know? And, and there's a lot being spent, mm -hmm. or you know, and the person who's seeing the boxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, what her should she or he mm -hmm. do? If anything, should they raise it? Should they not raise well, it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's okay to say like, hey, you know, like I noticed a lot of Amazon boxes and, you know, is it stuff that we really needed? And it might be like at this point, a lot of people are just getting almost everything from Amazon, like paper towels, toilet paper, groceries even. That's a whole different problem. But right, yeah, but what I'm saying of, to you yeah, is... Yeah, delivered to the house. Yeah, so, but, it's, yeah. So, it's, it's so, you know, I think you could inquire, like, hey, you know, I noticed a lot of Amazon boxes. Is it stuff that we really need? Especially if you're trying to watch your finances or if money's tight. I think it's okay to say See, something. I, I think that's one of the areas, and we'll talk about maybe one of the other ones, that's one of the areas where people um, may not say something and they should. And yep. then it's like a... So it's like a slow burn into an explosion. Yep. Right? Yep. So I don't say anything. Uh, I don't say anything. I don't say anything. anything, and, say then, anything and, yeah. and then, boom, the roof comes off. So yep. to me, mm -hmm. to me, that's a place where you can't let it build up. Because yep. money is one of those things that um, people work for. We were all work because we want to make money. Uh, most of us, most of us, a lot of us work because we like what we do. But, mm -hmm. but if we didn't get paid for it, we might be doing something else. Right. You know? so, so if it gets spent, it can be, a, you know, it can be upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, how about drinking? Drinking. Yeah. You no. like when I drink. I know that. Yeah, I do. <laughs>
I don't know. No. Well, no, but like a lot of people, especially, you know, during the pandemic or if there's a family history of alcohol use, get worried when their partner is drinking, you know, a lot or, you know, more than usual. And um, it's like one of those things. I, I almost feel like there's some things that you could like say something in a gentle way, but then you have to back off. Like there's nothing you can do about it. Like if I say to you like, hey, I noticed that you're drinking like a few bourbons every night and you know, I'm concerned because it's not good for your liver and it's not good for, you know, yeah. you know, whatever. Then, then, but then I can't, I can't control you. Like I can't like go hide oh, the liquor in I the mean, house or tell right. you you can't drink anymore. Right, right. So it's kind of like, I think so, like you can say something in a nice loving way, like I'm concerned, but then you have to like get out of that lane. I mean, but, it, but it, so it's not, it says really two parts, right? First hi, Amy. Is, first is, hi, Amy D. First, doesn't Amy have a birthday in this one? Amy D has a birthday. She's right around mine, is that? She's the 25th. I think oh, it's gosh. Monday. Happy Monday. Birthday, and you can have my birthday, too. And I mean, Scott's birthday, her son, is the same um, birthday. So, so they so, have a birthday coming up. So, Happy so, birthday. So, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Now, so, but it's a two-part thing, right? So first, and let's talk about the drinking for a second. Yep. So... Your partner's drinking too mm -hmm. much. You're, you're observing. You know, it's not just a glass of wine. Yeah. It's not just a couple glasses of wine right. at you, night. It's yeah. okay. The afternoon. It's happy hour. Right. Then I'm drinking to celebrate. I'm drinking because I'm depressed. I'm drinking. Yeah. Drinking because I've got nothing else to do. Um, my friend did whatever it may be. Right. So and you've made the decision mm -hmm. to. You, you got to say something. Yeah. Because it's you're concerned. Um, so it's not just just making the decision. But now we move to. Uh, and you know how I like to tie these things into our book chapters, yes. right? It's it's not what you say, it's how you but say how it. you say yeah. it, which is for those of us who uh, studied communication back in the seventies <laughs> and eighties, like I did. It's the Marshall McLuhan, you know, the medium is the message. Right. It's not necessarily what you're saying. Right. It's how it's coming across sure. and how it's being conveyed. Right. So right? if I'm concerned and I sit down and tell you I'm concerned about your drinking or your, you know gambling or your whatever mm -hmm. it is um then if i say it in a loving way and i'm concerned versus like i'm angry at you and say it in a rage like you're drinking all the time right. and you're da, 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 da. right as opposed to coming over and saying you know uh, uh, I'm, I'm worried your liver is cold and nah, your, your yeah, liver are cold and, you know, and they say I'm, and your liver is really, having a hard time right now I, I was really hoping we could fool around later but i think you've had too much to drink and that's <laughs> having that's happening a lot lately so. yes yes and, and i would if, like to have if, more sex yeah, and yes. I, if, mm. yeah so yep. how about that that, yep. that that could work yeah. mm -hmm. so okay um, that uh, that toggles into the uh, into the other topic area right which is certainly whether to talk to your partner about something sexual, either, mm -hmm. either whether it's frequency, whether right. it's something that he or she did that bothered you, yep. or, or you didn't, didn't like, like or whatever it may be. Yeah, or right. something you would like. Yeah, so how do you handle that? Oh, I think that that's something you should talk to them about. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that, I, I think that's like, you know, some things you need to kind of like be careful, like, you know, get in their lane for a minute and then get out. But I think sex is one of those things where you, sh that's you sharing it together most of the time. Yeah. So Desiree says communication. Yeah. No, but I think that it's important like to communicate about that, like good communication skills are a lot of what we're talking about, like saying these really hard things. Um, but, but that's a sensitive place, right? It I mean, is. We're talking I mean, about really sensitive things. I mean, that's a, that's a sensitive yeah. thing, you know. So, you, you know, a couple has sex, and, and for whatever reason, one of the pe one of the partners didn't enjoy it. I mean, it doesn't happen to ever. you, ever. Yeah. Um, but if that but were if, it, if, yeah. if you could put yourself in somebody's so, shoes. So you think if they should say it or not. Yeah, yeah. do I, do you yeah, say, be honest. That, you know. Okay. Yeah, Desiree says okay. be honest about okay. it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So what I want to say is, you know, there's no clear-cut answer here. We didn't come on to say, like, you should do this right. or you should do that or whatever. But what I'm saying is, like, know that it's important to talk about it, like Desiree said, to be honest and communicate. But also be respectful of the fact that you cannot change your partner's behavior. They have to do it on their own. And I tell people all the time that I work with, like, okay, you know what? You can want that. You can say something. You can, you know do everything you can to support them. But like, if they want to do what you don't want them to do, they're still going to do it. Like these are, you know, well, but, but I'm not sure it's so black and white as that. Is it really? I mean, so if, if you want your partner to, to do something or not do something, 
um, you, can't you communicate in such a way that may push them one direction or the other? Yeah, or but you could push them, them the other way. I, I, I understand that, but 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 you like take my example for yeah. example. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's good motivation. Yeah, no, no. no but sure, no, I'm I don't need to drink anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I think right? I think I mean, you're right yeah, that mean, you can help motivate, but you can't control your partner. You cannot control. I always say you cannot control anybody else's behavior but your own, and sometimes that's iffy too. Whoa. Okay? That's, that's No, I mean that. Like, we can only control our own behavior if we're lucky, and sometimes we can't even control our own behavior, why do you think you can control somebody else's? I don't, uh, because I think... I'm, I do. Oh, don't, Desiree says I'm right. All right, Desiree, now you got to be there. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Desiree, you've been great yeah, today. but I mean, it's not, it's not, because you're, because you're saying it's either control or not, if, since you can't, you can't control, then you shouldn't do it. Well, control, and I'm, and but... I'm not talking about control, I'm talking about... Guide, guide or support, yeah. or support, yeah. or, support yeah. or motivate. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, when you called me tubby in the garage, in the gym, <laughs> in a funny way, yeah. now I was motivated anyway, yeah, on, you my were own, very motivated. on my own, but, but that, that didn't hurt. Yeah, you know, okay. and if you were to say, you know, DB, you're drinking too much and, you know, I'll, I'll you know, take my top off a little earlier, then I might just as simply box up my bourbon and send it to Uncle Stu up in New know? Jersey. Yeah, Probably Stu. not, but I might. Yeah. I think about it. Yeah. So anyway. it's, it's, okay. It can be motivation. All right, so we, we have okay. some disagreements and we have some, uh, you know, it's like... the beauty of our relationship. That is the beauty. Chats, we still love each other. And the yin and the yang. That's the right. And the push. Okay. Yep, there you go. So... So that's it for tonight. That's it. Right, we're, we're gonna try to you keep have a couple short of things to say. Yeah, a couple of things I want to I want to um, let everybody know. We have two awesome events on February the 11th, back to back. Yeah, we're but you both can you can sign up for both, one or the other. Yeah, we're going to be busy. Fe that February the 11th is going to be awfully busy. For those of you who have gotten our book, you know, it came out right around Valentine's Day last year. We have the audio book coming out. So if you if you're an audio book lover, you're in your car, like to pop your headphones on. I can't wait to read my own book. Go on, and, yeah, she does <laughs> have Go on, grab it on audio book. You can pre-order now. Uh, but on February 11th, so at 6.30, we're going to be doing a virtual uh, talk about the book with uh, the amazing folks at Bethany Beach Books who have been so kind to us, have our book there all the time, have had us there frequently, um, signing books and visiting with people every day from 6.30 to about 7.15, 7.20. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. From there, you're going to change clothes real quick. Now I'm going to be wearing the same thing. <laughs> okay, then we're going to be on... Uh, love agency style, mm -hmm. right? which is going to have one of those fancy invites, whatever those things are. I think it's an Evan Everbright. Everbright yeah. thing. And um, we're going to send that out. We'll put our social media. There's some books that are being email. given away um, for that. And there is a very well known person that's going to be. Too. Persons that's going to be hosting uh, with us. Yeah, I don't and, know these people, but you do. So you yeah. Uh, it's Mauricio Ominski and his wife Kyle. Kyle, um, she's on the Housewives and um, oh, Beverly, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Housewives and um, the they're going to be Housewives of Beverly. Hills. Yeah, oh, you know I mix up words. Right. And they're going to be talking about their twenty-year relationship 25. and. Oh, I thought it was 20. I thought it was 25, maybe 20. All right, well, they'll tell us. Anyway, so they're going to be with us, and we're going to be talking to them about their relationship and how they've kept things together, um, and we're so excited about that. Yeah, that should be cool. I'm going to wear a nicer shirt. Yeah. Maybe a cool hat. I don't know. I'll come up with something you bought yourself. I you did. bought yourself. Uh, I know. We're on a, um, a, uh, a no-buy no zone, zone, but there was a few exceptions, and I said I need a new top for this very special Can't event. Can't wait. Something with some color, because all my clothes are like black and white and beige and stuff. And so, want, no beige, no beige. Yeah. So, so yeah, mark your date, February 11th. Look, look at our Facebook, Instagram pages. Twitter also, we're going to have the sign-ups. We'll have the information. Pop on one or the other. It should be a lot of fun. And we will be done talking by 8, 30, 9 o'clock. That may not talk again for a couple of days. So Cheers. Anyway, here's to you. Thanks for watching. Happy and healthy, there. everybody. Hope Sh you're keeping well. Share the videos. And again, thanks to everybody for all the support. Thanks, Desiree, for all your interaction. Peace. Nice work tonight, Desiree, for the most part. <laughs>